Well, it was one of the first hurricane shelters to be made available and be filled to capacity with the survivors of Hurricane Dorian from the islands of Abaco and Grand Bahama. Tonight, our Desmond Saunders reports live from the Kendall Isaacs Gymnasium, where hundreds have had to call it home for now. Desmond, what's the latest? Good evening, Keisla, and good evening, Bahamas. I'm coming to you live from the western entrance of the National Stadium. A number of relief, hurricane relief supplies are being received and distributed to several shelters in New Providence. Now, I call this the nerve center of one of the hurricane relief efforts, and if my cameraman, Shane Gibson, could get a glimpse, a video clip of what's going on here, a very busy center, some 30 volunteers working to ensure that many of the evacuees from Abaco and Grand Bahama get uh, the much needed hurricane supplies and it's busy here until late uh, nine o'clock tonight joining me on the broadcast this evening i have mr christopher roberts he's a manager here he's been doing a great excellent job and he's been working uh, since this morning to ensure that there's a smooth flow and a smooth operation here good evening sir how are you doing and explain the logistics how are supplies being distributed to uh, the hurricane evacuees uh good evening and thank you um we have the persons who are coming from Kendall Isaac's gym, uh, the shelter in the gym, and also the other shelters around the island. Uh, as a matter of fact, even um, uh, Freeport, even tonight, we're helping to try and send some stuff to some of the direct persons directly affected. Um, but we have a system, those who are registered at the gym, they are given a band, and as of tomorrow, they will have a ticket that they're going to be able to come. And uh, we're trying to be very... Uh, I don't want to say careful, but we want to try to ensure that they get just a little enough to tie them over so that we have for everyone. We, we do have quite a bit of clothes, um, but everything else is kind of, it's kind of limited. And so we want to make sure I try and touch everybody, but we're not turning anybody away. Anyone that's coming and we're able to verify that they're coming particularly from Abaco or, or Grand Bahama, whatever the need is, as best we can, we're trying to meet. A whole lot of items. You have everything here from shoes, uh, pampers. What other supplies do you have here? Uh, we've got food supplies, um, like I said, clothing, water, um, diapers, depends, um, baby food, snacks, drinks. Now, I'm calling these items, but the same items that I'm calling that we have is what we're running really, really, really low on. Um, the need is great. The need is great, and um, um, like I said, we're running, we're running really low on toiletries and, and, and feminine, um, feminine hygiene products, those kind of things. So anything between A to Z, except clothes right now, because we've got a whole lot of clothes that we got to get through. But anything in, in, in personal hygiene and stuff, we need, we, need, we need coming in. Thank you very much. Congratulations, and continue to do well. Thank you. Man. Christopher Roberts, the manager of the Hurricane Nerve Center, I call it, they're receiving a number of items, a whole smuggler's board of items here uh, being distributed to evacuees uh, here in Nassau and those evacuees who flew in from Abaco and Grand Bahama. A painstaking process, but a labor of love. Also joining me in the broadcast, Carlos Reed, who's actually the spokesperson for the Kendall Isaacs Gymnasium Shelter. Now, we're going to be very quick because uh, one of the producers is telling me to hurry up. But quickly tell me how operations are going at the Kendall Isaacs Gymnasium. I see you've erected two tents. Three tents. Three tents. Three tents. Uh, you know, uh, some uh, uh, partners came along, uh, basically the Island Luck Boys, and they put up uh, three tents that were able to house about over 600 more persons. So we, that's a blessing for us. Right. You know, but it's going really well. We've ironed out a lot lot of kinks. People are uh, comfortable now. They're being fed. They're being taken care of. We're trying to make them as comfortable, comfortable as they can be after the ordeal that they had to go through. Thank you very much. Continue to do well. Thank Christopher you. Roberts managing the distribution center here, Hurricane Relief, and Carlos Reed managing the shelter, one of the shelters, uh, Kendall G. L. Isaac's uh, shelter. Uh, many of the evacuees are there, some 1,200 evacuees at the uh, Kendall Isaac's gymnasium. So that's what's here at the National Stadium. A whole lot going on. Keisha, back to you in the studio.